Impressions and Attributes It is now possible to drive properties using mathematical expressions through parameters and constraints. Expressions are a mathematical expression following normal notation for the standard mathematical operators plus, minus, times, n divided by functions such as cos, sin, and tan, aggregate functions such as minimum, maximum, count, sum, and average, trigonomic functions, conditions such as equal to, less than, more than, and formulas such as 2 times length, where length is a property in the object holding the expression. In this tutorial, we will be inserting expressions into a previously modeled and constrained excavator by the component's top-level assemblies, that are pistons and rod assemblies, then interparting the expressions into the full assembly, creating driving properties for the assembly. Afterwards, we will reference the expressions into an attribute that can be modified from properties. First, we will go into the component or assembly we would like to drive. And make it show only so it's easier to work with. Then enter into static wireframe view. It is also good to understand that there are two ways to assign expressions. You can use to find them directly into the assembly constraint by typing the name equals the value, or you are also able to go into your expressions navigator by entering into menu, going to tools, and to the expressions tab, or by clicking control E. Now from here, you're able to assign a name and give it a value, and you are able to create the expression and then reference it while you are creating your assembly constraints or parameters. For this tutorial, we will input it directly into the assembly constraint as a distance. Since the pistons are aligned, we only have to assign one expression to drive both pistons that we will name thrust1. Now we can go to piston 2. And this is thrust 2. then to piston 3. And call this for us 3. And as you can see, the value you've been inputting disappears and it is replaced with your assigned title. Now that our three driving expressions are in, we can create the single inner part expressions within the top assembly. This is done by choosing the loaded part in the assembly. We will start with piston 1 assembly, then choose our expression or parameter, which we've titled thrust1, and create an override expression in the component part, so we are able to manipulate it in this top assembly. Then continue to the second piston.
then the third. Now we are able to drive the components. By changing the values of the interparted expressions, accepting the edit, and then hitting apply to see the motion. We will change all three thrusts and then hit apply. And as you can see, the assembly moves accordingly. Now that our expressions are set up, if we were speaking with a customer and we did not want to open up a complicated list of expressions with inner parts in between assemblies and components, we are able to assign these expressions into attributes that can be manipulated within the properties of the software. This is done by proceeding to File, then to Utilities, and opening up Attribute Template and creating three templates for our three thrusts. Also, make sure that the three attributes that you are creating have the same values that the expressions have so we can reference them without any complications. Reviewing them, the values are 25, 35, and 25 for thrusts 1 to 3. Within the attributes template, we're able to choose different data types between null, boolean, integer, number, string, and date. The two most common are number and integer integers common for its upper and lower limits and even its list of options you can customize to be available. For this example we will use a number which includes different dimensionality that pertains through length, area, volume, mass, acceleration, different angular dimensions and coefficients and diffusivity. For this one we will use the length with no constraint type, with a default value starting with the first piston of 25, and hit apply. Then piston 2. Which value was 35? Then piston 3. Which value was 25? And hit OK. Now that our attributes are created, we can add them to this assembly's attribute list by going to File, then Properties, clicking on each one of the part attributes, and adding the new attribute from the template for each of them, and hitting OK. From here, we will enter back into our Expressions window and we are able to reference our expressions to a part attribute, and we will be doing so to each one of our expressions. We will select our attribute and hit OK. Then accept the edit and proceed on to the next thrust. and hit OK. Now if we wanted to manipulate the drive of this mechanism, we are able to go into properties and alter them in a more user-friendly window like so.
And that concludes our expressions and attributes tutorial.